So in this video, I would like to show you how to containerize our Spring Boot application using Docker. Before we switch to Docker, let's make one update within application YAML. Right here, we were using the local host and if we'll build our Docker image with this value, we won't be able to connect. So let me first clear. Right here, we can use the terminal inside IntelliJ IDEA, which I believe really is really useful. And let's go with IP config. Right here, let's see what is our IP address and put this value right here. Let's hit clear. With this little update, we can follow the next step, which is building a jar file, which will then run later. To do so, when using Gradle, we can use the Gradle wrapper, which was added when creating a Spring Boot project, and invoke build command. After some time, we'll see right here, we should see that the build is successful, which we see, and after that, a new build folder is direct directory is generated right here. We can navigate to the libs directory console and we can see that there was created a new jar file. Let's hit copy right here, copy path reference and let's get the path from the root. With that being done, we can create a new file inside the root directory called docker file. In this file, we'll put the information on what exactly should our docker image consist of. First of all, we'll need to select some base image. I'll use open JDK version 19. If you would like to browse official docker images, then you just simply open up hub, dot docker.com and right here you can browse for many of the official images like open jdk sorry open jdk when i click right here i can go to tags and figure out what tag version we have possible to use let me close this window and get back to our docker file so we have our base image in order to work, we will need to copy the content of our libs directory, especially this one jar. So let's use dot slash build. I've copied um, this um, absolute, this path previously. The dot indicates that we are referencing to our current directory in which this Docker file is put, which is in the root content. The next one is where we would like to put our file. So I will simply call it app.jar. The last command we'll have to provide here will be entry point. And right here, Java. The next one command will be jar. And let's specify app.jar. The file that we will have here after the copy takes place. With that being done, let's run docker build and let's add some tag to our um, created image. I'll call it my backend service. Finally, let's follow that with dot. And we can see that everything went successfully. If you don't have this open JDK image on your local machine, it may take a bit longer to generate this image. To verify that our image was created successfully, let's run docker images command. We can see my backend service with tag latest. I didn't specify the exact version. We have some image, image ID generated right here, how long ago and what's the size. With that being done, we can finally run this image. To do so, we'll go with docker run. We'll specify what port of our local machine. I'll show you, for instance, 8082. 
I would like to forward to the port of the um, container which is 8080, the default Spring Boot port we've been using so far. And let's specify, I will copy this, my backend service, Ctrl plus C, Ctrl plus V, hit enter. Please remember to stop your application if you would like to target the same point. In other case, you will get that the port is already in use. Right here, we can see that the Spring Boot itself inside the container is working uh, on the port 8080. When I go to Postman and hit get, I will not get anything. As I told, and as we could see, I have used another port from our local machine. And now we can see that everything is working as expected. And that would be all for this video on how to containerize our Spring Boot application with Docker. I would like to invite you to the last video, which will be a short summary of this course.